Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to Westfall Stories, a story about a challenge in The Sims 4 that I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. Now, the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So we're rejoining Eve, and she's just working on her woodworking here because unfortunately her technophobe lifestyle is in jeopardy, and I can't get it to come back into a full-blown lifestyle. I think that she might lose it because of that. I don't know once it becomes in jeopardy how to make it become back in full strength. So we did have a stayover guest ask if they could stay over and uh, where did he go? I think he was outside here. Ah, it was Ronin. So Ronin, I think, is one of her half brothers i'm not sure i'll have to check okay no zayden and christopher are her half brothers who is ronin yeah he's purple so he must be one of piper's kids maybe maybe he's her cousin oh there he is okay so ronin is a cousin of eve and I think he was one of the ones that grew up with Eve. So that's why they have a relationship. And he also has two kids, but they may be staying with their mother. Yeah, out of wedlock, of course. So anyway, he's staying over and I need to have Jackson probably do a school project because he needs to get his grade up to an A. So it looks like it's just Ronan staying over. I know he has other members in his household, but maybe they just didn't come for some reason. And then we have birthdays on Wednesday. So I think we're going to lose Marley and Alexander. And then Randolph and Jackson will become children. Now, since Love Struck has come out and I've actually purchased that Love pack, that. what we might do for Eve is get her some kind of date going on. I mean, maybe we could meet some people that are, com that are compatible. I just don't know how to go about it because she's having a midlife crisis. And so she's supposed to try and flirt, get married, make a new best friend and meet six new Sims. So that might be a good goal. Okay, what should we tell people we are? I think family oriented is good. A maker could be good. Yeah, to be honest, those are probably just fine. So let's check some matches. And we have Yumiko, who is an adult, a child of the ocean and ambitious. We have Atharv, who is creative and a loner. Uh, I'm not so sure about the loner part. And Jackson is childish and an animal enthusiast. Caleb, squeamish and child of the ocean. Aiden is a glutton and a freegan. Lloyd is good and adventurous. Well, I think out of all of these, I mean, Yumiko, maybe. And I don't know about a loner. That's probably not a good trait. Childish is a turn on for Eve, but that's because she likes family oriented Sims. I don't know why childish is grouped in with those. So animal enthusiast. Eh, I don't know that. I can't really see any of these being a good match. Maybe we'll get some better matches. So we'll maybe we'll try Lloyd. Lloyd is adventurous and good. Okay. Um, the first one we get is lazy, which is a turn off. Great. Afu. Why are these considered matches? Okay. This person is both creative and an art lover. So, I'm not sure how to say that. Anel? I've never seen that name before, so I have no idea how to pronounce that one. Um, Jack? 
Christopher. Koichi. Um, well, he seems to be a match, so we will star him. Ishmael, a goofball. No, no goofballs. Goofballs prank toilets. All right. Well, out of our saves, uh, probably either Koichi or NL, and I'm going to have to look up those names. They're, both of those names look kind of ambiguous on how to pronounce, so I am probably mispronouncing them both. We will add both of those to our... Oh, we can't... Hmm, we can't... Oh, is he already added to our contacts? Okay. Interesting. I don't remember adding him to the contacts, but anyway... Um, I don't think we can create a date right now because we've yet, we have a yard sale going on, but maybe we can. Let's see if we can create a date and stay here. It's letting us. Oh, I have a bug in my game. Yeah. All right. So maybe it's UI cheats. I don't know which one is causing this bug. All right. Well, let me go investigate my mods. Okay, apparently it had nothing to do with my mods. That Sam was just bugged. Maybe they got bugged by my mods, but I basically had to delete them from my game. So now we're going to date somebody different, and we're going to do a get-to-know-you date. So maybe we'll be friendly. And he's a child of the ocean. I would do swimming, but I really don't... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we can swim. Not fishing, because he does not like to fish. Maybe we can be a little bit romantic, even on a get-to-know-you date. I'm not sure what else we could do here. I don't want physical intimacy or woohoo on a first date. Maybe we'll be funny. And... I don't know. Maybe... Eat something. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to stay here. And it does cancel my other event. Okay, so I was curious about that. It does cancel the other event. So I can't have a yard sale at the same time. That's not possible. No one was really buying anything anyway. So we'll just quit that. The toddlers are fine. They might be getting a little bit hungry. Maybe I will make something. Okay, so this is the sim we dated. It's Koichi Sato, I think. But I'm not sure on that. Probably wrong. Okay, he has the gardening skill and he's unemployed. Okay, so he's enjoying the date and he would like to spend more time together. Sure, we'll extend. Oh, we're kissing already, Eve. I did not tell her to do that. Okay, we'll grab something to eat, although Eve does like healthy meals, but I think it'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, that date went very well. I think we should end it cheerfully, though. I think we need to pay attention to the kids for a while. Okay, we got a portrait out of that. So, um, he stayed over anyway, because... For some reason, he got a routing error when he was trying to leave. This isn't locked, is it? No, it's not locked. I mean, it's locked for pets, but it shouldn't be locked for him. I guess he's going to stay over for a while. Okay, we need to give Randolph a bath. And then I think the rest of the family just needs to take care of themselves and go to sleep. It looks like Alexander's already asleep. So we'll have everybody use the restroom. Buzz is aged up and become an elderly cat. Okay, so we have elders again. Oh, actually, we already had some. And I need to keep an eye on them because they always get so hungry and they don't eat when they're supposed to. Oh, well, all the food is gone. I actually need to make some more food for the cats. Okay. Okay, we do need to patch up our relationship with Josie. Hopefully, she will accept our apologies. 
Oh, she left. Maybe she'll come back later on. Turtle hatching season is beginning. So, where is the baby turtles? Maybe we should go see them, but the kids have to go to school. Yeah, they're already going to school. Okay, Josie came back. We were able to apologize. Oh, we're slightly in the friend zone now. She seems to be angry, though. Oh, no, we're losing Fabo. I, uh... Unfortunately, some of our cats are elders, so we won't be having those cats around very long. Oh, and Franklin, too? Well, Graham, you've come to take two of my cats yet again. Koichi is feeling a romantic connection for Eve and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? Okay, so we'll go on a date, but unfortunately, we have to bring everyone with us because everyone is now home. Oh, okay. It lets me pick the location. All right. So we're going to go on a romantic date this time. And we're going to be romantic. We're going to be intimate and woohoo. And maybe, I don't know, swim. And I'm not sure what to pick for these kinds of dates because Eve has to stay home, really. So... Maybe that's all we'll pick. We don't have to pick everything. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, we had to select a location. So you don't have to pick all the activities. You just have to pick three. Okay, so Eve and Koichi are going to go on a date at home. Ah, uh, and one of my cats is dying again. Nacho. Great. I just tried to get over my sadness. My poor kids. Okay, so we'll have a first kiss. I think that's appropriate for a second date. Um, what? Did he leave? What happened? Okay, romantic satisfaction changed. Eve's romantic satisfaction with Koichi has changed based on her romance style turn-ons or turn-offs. Romance style turn-ons and turn-offs play a critical role in affecting a sim's individual romantic satisfaction with their partner when socializing. All I did was kiss him. And the date suddenly ended. It didn't say why. Okay, so they are sweethearts, have good compatibility, and she's attracted and satisfied, but I don't get anything else. I don't know what happened. Maybe that's one of those things where the date just suddenly ends? I'm not sure what's wrong with this. Okay, maybe we'll ask him about his attraction levels. Okay, it says, looks aren't everything, but truthfully, I do look out for some physical aspects in a partner. He likes white clothes, and he hates a whole bunch of other things. Uh, brown, orange, preppy, polished, and boho. Well, boho we might have a problem with. Uh, polished, preppy, brown, and orange, I don't think we do have a problem with. But she also doesn't wear white. So now he has to really get going now. All right. Well, thanks, Koichi. I guess he's tired. He asked me out on a date and then he said he had to go. All right. Whatever. Okay. We made a woodworking item for today. So we have this dragon sculpture. Maybe we'll make it a centerpiece at our table. And we need to go swimming, so maybe we'll swim around for a while. And then we'll go there. Oh, every time. Okay. Maybe we should... And Kuro is running away. Come on, cats. Get with it. Why are you guys making things so difficult for me? Um, well, and you couldn't find your way, so I guess you're not going. Well, maybe if I talk to you, you'll be happy. Oh, you just don't have affection. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't give affection to all of the cats because there's just too many of them. I try. I really do try. Okay, we're going to do another project instead of doing our homework. And hopefully get some fun up because you can talk while doing your project and you can make jokes. Chew, chicken. I want to hatch the egg. It's funny how they sit on it and prevent me from hatching the egg. Oh, so cute. Let's see, what did we get? It doesn't say. Yes, you're starving. Go eat. Said she was going to run away, but it's her own fault because she's not coming out to eat. There's been food out here the entire time. Can you not eat it? Oh, come on. There's food right there. Right here. Why are you not eating it? It looks like the rooster is going to eat. Is there food over here or something that she's distracted by? Why are you not eating the food over here? Okay. Finally, she's eating. And we got a rooster chick. Well, I want a hen chick. Unfortunately, we got a rooster. So what I do is I wait until this rooster becomes an adult and then we will trade away our other rooster. I know it's sad to trade away the chickens, but that's how we get our food for this Let's Play. Okay, everyone is coming downstairs for breakfast. You have to make sure that toddlers eat their food. Oh no, and we're very sad. We're going to have an emotion bomb. Oh well, that will get rid of our death buff. So basically she gets very sad every time the cats die. And unfortunately, since we have, have a lot of cats, they are always dying. I mean, they get old, they die. That's what happens to pets. And when you have a lot of pets, that's just what happens. Oh, and we need to cure you. So I do have a way to buy pet treats from the computer so that we can actually cure the cats and I don't have to go to the vet. Okay, today is Tricky Tuesday, so maybe we should try to visit the ghosts today? Or is it Remembrance Day that we can do that? Yeah, I think it's Remembrance Day that we visit the ghosts. This one does have ghosts as well, though. So maybe we'll go to the nightclub lot and do some things there. But first, I need to make a sculpture every day. We'll make a bunny this time. And then we will get something to eat, although I don't need to get something to eat. I still have to eat healthy food, even if she doesn't need it, because she will lose her lifestyle otherwise. And then we need to go swimming. Oh, we're having an earthquake or a volcano. Well, looks like just an earthquake. Oh, come on. We want to help you. Please accept my affection. Stop crying. I'm trying to help you. Please accept my hug. It will help your very sad buff go away a little bit. Okay. Now it's down to 16 hours. Every time she gives a hug successfully, it reduces the sad buff by half. So you can quickly get rid of a toddler's sad buff. But for a child, you only get a chance to remove it completely. And if it fails, you don't get another chance. At least for a cooldown. And you can only do that for one kid once. And you can't do it for the other kids. Okay. You'll be feeling better in about two hours. Now let's take care of Randolph. I don't know why Randolph keeps getting things to eat. You're not that hungry. You're a little hungry. Are you a good eater or something? Yes, you are. Okay. So that's why he keeps picking up the things to eat when he's not very hungry. Oh, this is the wealthy weirdo. No, I don't think that we're going to do that. Eve is not going to go anywhere outside of Sulani. She's actually not allowed to since she's a mermaid. So that's part of the rules for this challenge is that mermaids are not allowed to leave Sulani. 
you must be a mermaid because I can't, oh, I can sirens call you now, but for some reason it wasn't showing up before. And I thought maybe it's because you can't do that to other mermaids, but now it's showing up. Weird. All right, well, this is the way that we recharge our energy. We start a yard sale, but we don't tend the table. And then you just pick one of the guests and basically dive underneath them and drag them under. It doesn't kill them. It only drains their energy and it drains everything else. And they'll just go home. They always make it out of the water. You can't actually kill a sim doing that. All right, so we have a bee in school now, and I'm not sure what character trait he needs to get. I'll have to go and look at my choices for him. So Jackson needs to get an A in school, and he already completed his aspiration. So the next step is for him to get the A and then age up and move out. And then we will be on to the next generation of this legacy. Okay, so he needs to raise manners, but lower conflict resolution. So we're going to go with this one since it lowers his conflict resolution. Let's try to refresh some matches. I think that we really didn't get too many good matches. Uh, uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be getting some from the gallery. Okay, proper dog lover. A uh, cat lover. Insider. Insider outgoing. Outgoing in animal enthusiast. Outgoing in bro. Uh, adventurous in animal enthusiast. Well... I don't really see a lot of good matches. I mean, I guess Jace is at least adventurous. So we'll try him maybe. Why doesn't it say that adventurous is a turn on for Eve on Lloyd? Um, that might be a bug. Okay. <laughs> so for Jace, it's a turn on, but for Lloyd, it's not. All right, well, whatever. So we'll have another date here at the house. I know it's probably not the best place to have dates, but it's just the easiest. For some reason, Jace is very sad. That's not good. Why would you go on a date while you're very sad? Okay, we got a get to know you date gold with Jace. So we have a lot of friendship and romance with him. And hopefully he leaves. I think my last get to know you date actually didn't leave when the date was over. Okay, we decided to go to the bar during the day because we need to get some fame. And we also need to meet some more of the ghosts. Okay, so Jackson is actually an A student now. Now the only thing that we have to do is wait for his birthday. Sometimes I age them up early, but I can't remember if I allow that in this Let's Play. I think that I do, but I think we have to wait anyway because Eve is just not done with all of her tasks yet. She needs to meet everything in her ancestral family's line, and that's unfortunately going to take a very long time since I can't run into the ghosts that I need to run into. Now, on Day of the Dead, we can actually go to the ancestral home where all of the ghosts live. But that's not until springtime. Oh, that's going to be after Jack's birthday. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how we can do that then, because the ghosts that I want to show up are not showing up. I need Asher to show up, and unfortunately, he just doesn't seem to come out to the nightclub very often. All the other ones are, but I already know all of these ghosts. I guess we could make an exception and see if we can invite them to a party here. Stop ordering drinks, Eve. Plan the social event. And, of course, he does not show up under family because he's a distant ancestor. 
Okay, for some reason, Asher just was not showing up on my list, even though everyone is supposed to show up on the list to be invited. So I basically just summoned him here to say, okay, he came to the nightclub. I actually know him, but unfortunately, we don't know him that well. So we have to try to get to know him through the Get Famous socializations. And I had to make a spreadsheet because Eve's family is so large that I cannot get to know everyone and keep track of everyone by memory. So, and why does it allow romance? Okay, Asher is your ancestor. You should not be able to romance him. But anyway, we're going to try and make Asher our friend. And then we also need to make friends with his wife. I don't see Chantel here. So we probably will have to summon her as well. And why is she talking to Wylabelle? I am supposed to be talking to Asher. This happens sometimes where it's glitched and it's talking to the wrong person. Okay, I think it's talking to the correct person now, because I need to get to know Asher. Oh, and he disappeared. Okay. So, we have to try and get him to hang out longer. I think one of the things that the Love Struck expansion forgot about is that normally you cannot interact with a ghost. But it seems like you can now through the Ask on Hangout or Date. And yeah, so I can ask Chantel to create a hangout. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I can just ask Chantel to come hang out. And even though she's a ghost, will she show up? Yes, she does. Okay, um, that's one thing, though, that's going to be a problem. I think this is kind of like a get to know you date. And at the end of the date, you normally gain romance with the person so um that's going to be awkward hopefully that does not happen actually maybe if it's just a bad date <laughs> it won't give me romance with her i don't want romance just friendship hopefully if it's a bad date and i end it cheerfully then we won't get a bad relationship with her we just need to be friends and i wish i could ask Asher to create a hangout, but unfortunately, I can't because we don't officially know him. We only are a celebrity acquaintance. Oh, I think we've already done it. Okay, yes, we are a friend now. And maybe if we only get a bronze, it won't really matter. Okay, let's cheerfully end the hangout. Yeah, it's a hangout. Um, all we can do is end it abruptly, tell her to leave, or ask her to change venue or extend it. We can't say we're done. Oh, that stinks. I mean, it's a hangout. Uh, I don't want to do it abruptly or tell her to leave. That's, a, that's rude. Okay, well... Do I have to just wait until it's over for another three hours? I don't like that. Okay, friendly hangout. Okay, so it was a friendly hangout. Good. And our friendship went up just by clicking the little bar up here. So if you end it by canceling the event at the top, it doesn't count as an abrupt ending, which to me would be rude. And I don't want to make this a rude event. All right, so we did accomplish that at least. Now, Asher, we cannot invite because we don't know. He's a celebrity. Maybe we can invite Jaden. Okay, we have a bunch of people we need to make friends with. I think we can try to get Asher's friendship first because we can only talk to him at the nightclub. Okay, today is Harvest Fest, so we're just saying hi to the gnomes that are around, and we have invited over Riley, and we need to make good friends with her. We also invited over Christopher. He's somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. So we also need to make good friends with Christopher. 
And we're working on that part of our goals. Okay, Riley has become good friends with Eve. And she's a direct family member. And since Eve is family oriented, she wants to be good friends with all of her immediate family members. So that includes her mother, her father, her sisters, her brothers, and any children she has. But she's already good friends with all of her children. That's not a problem. It's just the others that it's a little bit difficult to keep up with. Okay, we're good with Christopher. Now we need to invite over Dulce. Hector, Sam, and Josie. Oh, Jackson aged up. So our toddlers had a birthday. I didn't even realize that. Uh, no, we're not going to go with lactose intolerant. I've been making them all kleptos, but that may not be a good thing because when they come and visit me, uh, I don't really want them stealing things, but eh, well, I guess we'll go with it. So does that mean we're going to have no more toddlers? you should be ready to age up you're his twin right yeah you are okay no more toddlers then and there's randolph okay so randolph is also going to be a klepto and a whiz kid oh alexander aged up oh he has a romance of level three Okay, so this is different. I have not seen this happen yet. So he is socially awkward and a geek. Let's give him the computer whiz aspiration. It doesn't really matter because he has to move out. So yeah, that's Alexander. Looks like Marley is probably going to age up pretty soon too. Because that's his twin. What? More kittens! Maya! <sighs> Maya is the youngest. Okay. So we are going to have more kittens. I was hoping that we would kind of uh, run out of cats. But it looks like the Westfall family curse has continued. And if those of you who are just watching this as your first episode um we had at one point like 30 cats i don't remember how many cats we had but we had at least 30 probably 32 because they kept running away and getting pregnant and having kittens and eve just kept feeding them all and now we have a pregnant cat again all right well, hopefully, Maya is the only one that's pregnant. Oh, we got food over here. That's good. And yes, it's Marley's birthday. So Marley is going to be jealous and a geek. Well, maybe we'll make her want to be maybe a soulmate. And there is Marley. Sorry, we forgot your birthday, Marley. It's actually that I don't want them to age up until the last moment possible. Okay, we have a kitten. Oh, it's a female. Females are not good because they can have more kittens. Okay, cinnamon. I have to remember, do we have a cinnamon somewhere in the line? Probably, but I don't remember. I can't keep track of their names anymore. And another female, Mallory. I'm pretty sure we don't have a Mallory. Although, did we have a child named Mallory? I, I don't think so. Three. Really? Three? Okay, Bullet. At least this one is a boy. And we had three kittens, which is the max possible. Great. All right, let me take the little kitten inside. One of them was born at the bottom of the stairs. The other two were actually at the top of the stairs, so they got to go inside. Oh, come on. Pick up the cat and put him inside. No, don't be mean. Don't be mean. I know you don't like Josie, but don't be mean. I'm trying to make Josie a good friend, and she almost was mean autonomously. Okay, we're good friends with Josie. We should probably send her home 
and only talk to her when we have to. Okay, so we're good friends with Hector now. And we're good friends with Sam. Oh no, Dulce, Dulce, don't leave. Don't leave, don't leave. I need to talk to you still. I don't know why Ellie's here. Ellie has been our best friend for a long time, so we don't need to talk to her right now. We're trying to get to know our siblings that we don't really know as well. So Sam, you can leave. Ellie, you can leave. Hector, you can leave. Dulce, you need to stay a little bit. Oh no, Milo's running away as we get an earthquake or volcano eruption. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay, that sound effect lasted a really long time. Yeah, I guess it was an earthquake. Yeah, okay. Okay, now that Dulce is a good friend, I think the only ones we have left are Riley, Christopher, Asher, and Jaden. Unless I've already spoken to Riley. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, we've already spoken to Riley and Christopher. Okay, we were able to create a hangout with Jaden. Even though, technically, he's a ghost. So, usually you can't interact with ghosts unless you can just meet them in the world by chance. So, it's kind of interesting that the new love struck pack does that i think it's an oversight actually i don't think you're supposed to be able to talk to ghosts that way now if we can just get asher to show up we will be completely done with eve's goals unless we want to try to make her a global celebrity i mean that's not really part of the rules i've just been doing that at each stage because it makes it easier to get to know the relatives if you're a global superstar but what eve does doesn't really get her that much fame i think we just have to be friends oh that's armando why doesn't asher ever show up armando shows up all the time and so does fiona and carissa and all of the other ghosts except for asher it's like for some reason he doesn't ever show up anywhere Okay, if we end the hangout cheerfully, maybe we'll become friends and unfortunately also maybe lovers. I'm going to have to ask him to be just friends again. Yeah, we became good friends. Okay, we do have a little bit of a romance bar, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. It doesn't seem like I can. All right, well... I think what we'll have to do is just manually cheat that away because technically Jaden is in our ancestor tree. Now, he's not a direct ancestor. He's like a great, great uncle, I think, because he is a brother of one of our ancestors. But I just don't like them having romance with ghosts. That shouldn't happen unless you try to make it happen. Okay, finally we were able to make friends with Asher. Okay, and I think it's just friends. We need to be friends. But we need to also try to be a little bit better than friends. Just so our relationship decay doesn't make us not friends. Okay, I think we can go home now. We've actually done everything that we need to do. Ah, I can sirens call the ghosts that are annoying me. That might be a good strategy for getting rid of them. Well, it's the end of the week and we did achieve everything that we wanted to achieve. We have made friends with all of our ancestors that are within four generations. And we've introduced ourselves to all of the ancestors then we are good friends with every immediate family member. So the only thing left to do, oh, um, well, we are unfortunately having another cat death. That is so sad. I'm sorry to end it off on a sad note. The only thing we might do is try to get Eve's celebrity level up to global superstar. Now we are almost at level three. Level three allows us to donate items to fans and that gets our level up pretty quick. 
So if we can just get to level three, a couple more points should do it. We will easily be able to get to Global Superstar before Jackson ages up and moves out of the house. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.